and the way I've tried to handle it, and you know, and it, to some extent, this has not been successful. But you know, I like to control the scheduling, uh, the practice and tournament scheduling for the majority of my players, the players who are serious, the players who do have goals in mind, the players who want to be top players, uh, whether it be in college or higher. Um, those players, um, you know, will have to, at the very least, have me sign off on their tournament schedules, their practice schedules, their eating habits. All of this is very, very important in becoming a, in reaching your potential. I didn't have coaches that did this for me when I was young, and um, I wish I had. I wish I had a coach that took care of everything and left up left nothing to my parents, but that wasn't the case. And sometimes when a coach has too many players, they don't want to do it. And sometimes when the coach wants to do it, the parents don't allow it because uh, for whatever reason, they, they don't want to give up control. And um, Patrick McEnroe has even discussed in some newsletters that I've read uh, discussing how parents don't want to give up control. Well, Terry's discussed this and, and many other coaches in the area. And... Um, it's very, very important for parents to realize, you know, if you send your son or daughter to soccer practice, uh, you're not going to go in the field and tell the coach what plays to run. You're not going to go in the field and tell the coach when practice should be done. You're not going to go in the field and tell the coach what tournaments the team should play or what uniforms they should wear or anything. So I don't see why the rules are any different in tennis. And, you know, it's certainly a huge problem. I mean, there's many problems. I mean, uh, the fact that the United States has been a wealthy country for, for a long time has, has definitely hurt the culture of digging down, digging deep, training hard, and doing things the right way. And players have gotten soft and parents have gotten soft. And I think right now, even more than the the players being soft, the parents are soft. And they pull kids out of practice, they, 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 they decide the tournament scheduling because they want to have a nice comfortable ranking. And they don't want to get down and dirty. They don't want to do the right thing. They don't want to get messy. They don't want to do things correctly. They don't want to do what it takes. And um, some coaches will just basically accept that and tell the parents what they want to hear, and some won't. And you know, I've I've certainly been one to tell it how it is. And if they're not willing to hear the truth, and many different things in life which I talk about, if they don't want to hear the truth, the truth hurts sometimes, and it's scary. But you know, you have to face it.